Blessed be our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Audible sighs. The plenty of cries from the heart I offer to you, seer of secrets. These I present, having placed them on the fire of my afflicted soul, fruit of the summer hearings of my wavering mind, sent to you through the censor of my will. May you, compassionate one, share their scent. May you consider them with favor over the above that of sacrifices of assorted food offered with thick smoke. Accept these linked words in wanting segments. May you be pleased with them and not angered for they rise from the depths of the mysterious chamber of my feelings to reach you speedily a free will offering this verbal sacrifice burnt whole with the thin fat of my ability, the only richness I possess. And with pleading, I lay it down for your consideration, mighty one. May it not seem to you like that of the wicked in Israel with arms outstretched, whom Isaiah denounced along with the iniquity of Babylon, nor repugnant like the illustration used in the 72nd Psalm. Rather, may it be acceptable in accordance with your will, like the pleasing fragrance of the incense at the altar in Shiloh, which David restored for the resting of the ark, returned from captivity, a metaphor for my lost soul being found again. Because your fearsome voice of recompense at the judgment echoes mightily in the valley of retribution. I am doubly fearful as if rising for battle. The predictable and conflicting emotions manifested within me are already at work. Crowds of turmoil rise against one another, a sword against armor, floods of thoughts, evil against good. They drag me captive to death as in former times before the time of grace reached me. The redemption by Christ, which Paul chosen among the apostles shows to be superior compared to the law of Moses. For as the scripture says, the day of the Lord is near and in the narrow pass of the valley of Jehoshaphat and down the brook of Kidron, the trial sessions of the past seem small to me in what they foreshadow regarding that with consequences for eternal life and the things to come. Once more, in a lasting way, God's kingdom has confronted me tangibly, charging me on truthful grounds with compounded wrongs graver than those that brought about what was inflicted upon the Edomites and the Philistines and other foreign nations. Whereas their sentences were measured in years, the penalty for my sins is beyond measure, endless. Fear, dungeon, and inescapable upheaval, as the prophet and the speaker in Proverbs warned, have arrived at my doorway, greatly disquieting, already projecting my eternal disgrace. Only you can miraculously make the medicinal outcome amenable to life for souls utterly perplexed by doubt or reconciler of all, exalted in ineffable glory in boundless heights forever and ever. Amen. And now, since you are calling with articulate lips on God Most High, who is drawn to deeds alone, and is not swayed by creative words. You, my sinful soul, with a heart always inclined towards Egypt, to what similar or analogous 
thing shall I compare you? I am punished along with Sodom, Sodom's destruction. I have charge brought against me by Nineveh's prosecutors and more timorous and barbarous than the queen of the south, more discipical than Canaan, more obstinate than Amalek, incurable as the city of idols, a remnant from the rebellion of the ancient Israel, a reminder of the broken covenant of Judah, more reproved than Tyre, more shunned than Sidon, more depraved than Galilee, more unpardonable than a faithless Capernaum, uh, deplored like Chorazin, slandered like Bethsaida, and shameless like Ephraim as he grade. A thou always known for feeble-mindedness instead of peace, a dreadful serpent hatched among lions' cup, like cobra's egg filled with rot. I am an image of Jerusalem after the last calamity, as in the saying of the Lord and the oracles of the seers. A rejected tabernacle about to be destroyed, a stronghold with broken gates, myself a doubly filled creature, though capable of speech, having relinquished my rightful inheritance, having turned my back to the house built by God, as Moses, David, and Jeremiah wrote early on. Irrational edifice infected with leprosy, chastened by itching, stimulated by the law, smeared with the mildly sooting clay, still unable to find a cure, torn apart yet again by the Creator's hands, thrown out into an unclean place, this may just reward by order of the Almighty, rejected, driven a great distance away, spared by none, having buried my coin in the ground of wickedness, as did the one denounced for wasting his trust, pointed out in the gospel. But you, God, God of souls and all flesh, as professed by one divinely graced, you are forbearing and abounding in mercy in accordance with the plea of the saintly Jonah, Grant that I complete to your delight, by your holy will, this prayer book of lamentation now begun. And having sown these words tearfully and set forth on this path toward the dwellings you have prepared, may I arrive joyfully in the time of harvest with the return of the bounty of atonement, with the blessed fruit of the goodly sheaves. O most compassionate Lord, do not give me a barren heart like the childless womb that was Israel's and eyes like dry breasts. But hear me, a rational supplicant, O mighty and merciful one, who were before the heavens, and the heavens before the earth, and that before Jezreel's wheat, wine, and oil. May the pleadings of the heavenly ones who are with you have their influence upon my soul more than upon perishable elements. You are the creator, and I am the clay. At the start of these prayers with sighs, may I be strengthened by your kind will even here, so that I, a waverer, might not be found unfit to enjoy the edification by your light when the heavens open, that I might, might not be consumed like the substance of a candle and be snuffed out. As a narrator cries out in prayer, O pray for the ill-treated person, Give strength to the faint-hearted like me and life to one worn out by a bothered conscience. Relieve my anguish, for I seek you earnestly. Receive these repeated supplications and grant the mercy of your grace. Accept this trifle from a weakling like myself and provide the major portion yourself, almighty. Strengthen my words of contrition, having sent us the Spirit from on high with messages imbued with the breath of God upon these things set forth. Grant, benevolent Lord, that we might be enlightened in the truth like Isaiah. Bestow upon me 
although I am deserving of death, the gold of grace instead of the breast of an ignoble sound, instead of the blackness of an unadorned iron, the gloss of bronze burnished in Lebanon, symbolic of virtue. Why have you hardened the heart of my deplorable being not to fear you, who are ineffable and astounding? Let not my negligible labor be fruitless, like that of the planter, vainly sowing the barren ground. Let me not be in labor without giving birth, lament without shedding tears, meditate without sighing, cloud over without raining, proceed without arriving, call on you without being heard, implore continuously without being heeded, groan without being pitied, beg without ever being helped, become a sacrificial offering, yet without being consumed by fire, see you without being rewarded. Hear me before I cry out to you who are alone are almighty. Do not hand me over to eternal suffering, punished as I am. Do not recompense me for my tallied days of sin, evil doer that I am. Hair pazum ohorm hostovani marques vorbe zanarag vortin togin sas mexim ye vorgormia der vorke tatsari ginan kananazi katayev hisi mehavors ye vorgormia der vor tarzu ceras maxavorni kidut yunjesh mardutian Tarzo yev zizaz molor yals yev ohor mya. Astavats pazum ohor mchanaya hararazas ko hayra menagal yev ohor mya. Are kagnar tarut yan zahakya iho kismeras duis jashmardut yan yev ohor mya. Durmez ders khaga hut yun ye pergya in ek chats merots ho ki jashmar dut yan ye vohor mya vorari ken ye gror da tam vas narach nu in han sanats pnut yam merov ba herov Zmaha per badru in luz yals badrans arnamist pare hos yagetsuts anel azmes. Parkor ye vortvo ye vokvu in serpo. Artagach ya mai rastu zozen yalni ken vasen merzi ant namin baelov sur parut yamp nora noro kestuk arnamist parechos ya getsuts anel azmes. Aish miev misht yev havid yans havid en its amen. Im yu san kam kalist yan ast vaz ort vuin. Sur pchach nye revi yev lu savore. Zina e huis havad al celo. Merciful Father and God of consolation, who comforts us in all our troubles, hear now the pleas of your servants and accept our supplications. May us worthy to glorify you with thankfulness, along with your Son and your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of to the Corinthians from the Epistle Paul. If I proclaim the gospel, this gives me no ground for boasting. 
for any obligation is laid on me, and woe to me if I do not proclaim the gospel. For if I do this of my own will, I have a reward. But if not of my own will, I am entrusted with a commission. What then is my reward? Just this, that in my proclamation I may make the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my rights in the gospel. For though I am free with respect to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so that I might win more of them. To the Jews I became a Jew in order to win the Jews. To those under the law I became as one under the law, though I myself am not under the law, so that I might win those under the law. To those outside the law I became as one outside the law, though I am not free from God's law, but I am under Christ's law, so that I might win those outside the law. To the weak I became weak, so that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, that I might by all means save them, save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, so that I may share in the, its blessings. In faith I confess and bow down to you, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, uncreated and immortal nature, creator of angels, of human beings, and of all things. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, a great sinner. In faith I confess and bow down to you, O light in the visible, co-substantial Holy Trinity and one Godhead creator of light and dispeller of darkness. Dispel from my soul the darkness of sin and ignorance and illuminate my mind at this hour so that I may pray to you according to your pleasure and receive from you the answers to my prayers. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, a great sinner. Heavenly Father, true God, who sent your beloved son in search of the ship that had gone astray. I have sinned against heaven and before you. Receive me as the prodigal son and clothe me with the original garment of which I was treated by sin. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, a great sinner. Son of God, true God, who descended from the bosom of the Father, and took flesh of the Holy Virgin Mary for our salvation. You were crucified, buried, and raised from the dead, and ascended with glory to the Father. I have sinned against heaven and before you. Remember me as the thief when you come with your kingdom. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, a great sinner. Spirit of God, true God, who descended upon the river Jordan and the upper room, and enlightened me through the baptism of the Holy Font. I have sinned against heaven and before you. Purify me anew with your divine fire, as you purified the holy apostles with fiery tongues. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner. Uncreated nature, I have sinned against you in my thoughts with my soul and body. For the sake of your holy name, remember not my former sins. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, a great sinner. Seer of all, I have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. Raise the record of my transgressions and write my name in the book of life. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, a great sinner. Searcher of secrets, I have sinned against you willingly and unwillingly, knowingly and unknowingly. Grant forgiveness to me, a sinner, for since my birth at the Holy Font, until this day I have sinned before your Godhead with my senses and with all the members of my body. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, a great sinner. All caring Lord, 
Place your holy fear as a shield before my eyes, that they may no longer gaze with lust. Before my ears, that they may not delight in hearing words of evil. Before my mouth, that it may utter no falsehood. Before my heart, that it may ponder no evil. Before my hands, that they may do no injustice. Before my feet, that they may not walk on the paths of iniquity. But so direct their movements, that they may at all times be according to your commandments in all things. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner, a great sinner. Christ, living fire, inflame my soul with the fire of your love, which you sent forth upon the earth, that it may consume the impurities of my soul, cleanse my conscience, purge the sins of my body, and ignite in my heart the light of your knowledge. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, a great sinner. Jesus, wisdom of the Father, grant me wisdom that I may at all times think, speak, and do before you that which is good in your sight. And save me from evil thoughts, words, and deeds. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, a great sinner. Wheeler of good, O Lord, fulfiller of the believers, will, let me not pursue my own will, but guide me so that I may at all times live according to your benevolent will, have mercy upon your creatures, and upon me, a great sinner. Heavenly King, grant me your kingdom, which you promised to your beloved, and strengthen my heart to hate sin, and to love you only, and to do your will. Have mercy upon your creatures, and upon me, a great sinner. Protector of all creatures, by the sign of your cross, keep my soul and body from the deceptions of sin, from the temptations of evil spirits, from unrighteous people, and from all perils of soul and body. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, the great sinner. Christ, guardian of all creatures, let your right hand protect me day and night tearing in home and traveling, sleeping and rising, that I may never stumble. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, a great sinner. My God, you who open your hand and fill all creatures with your mercy, I commit myself to you. Take care of and provide for the needs of my body and soul from this time forth and forevermore. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, a great sinner. You who turn back those who have gone astray, turn me away from my evil habits to good habits and imprint on this, my soul the dreadful day of death, the fear of hell and the love of the kingdom so that I may repent from my sins and do acts of righteousness. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, a great sinner. Fountain of immortality, make tears of penitence flow from my heart like the tears of the adulteress, so that I may wash away my sins before departing from this world. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, a great sinner. Granter of mercy, grant that I may come to you in true faith and with good works and by the communion of your holy body and blood. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, a great sinner. Beneficent Lord, commit me to the good angel so that I may give up my soul in gentleness and pass uninterrupted through the evil spirits that roam this earth. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, a great sinner. Christ, true light. Make my soul worthy to behold with joy the light of your glory on the day we are called and to rest in the hope of good things in the dwelling place of the righteous until the day of our glo your glorious coming. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, a great sinner. Righteous judge, when you come with the glory of the Father to judge the living and the dead, Enter not into judgment with your servant, but deliver me from the eternal fire, and make me hear the blissful calling of the righteous into your heavenly kingdom. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, a great sinner.
O oh, merciful Lord, have mercy upon all those who believe in you, on those who are mine and on those who are strangers, on those I know and those I know not, on the living and on the dead. Also, grant my enemies and those who hate me forgiveness for the transgressions they have committed against me, and turn them away from the malice they bear toward me, so that they may be worthy of your mercy. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, a great sinner. Glorious Lord, accept the supplications of your servant and fulfill my prayers unto that which is good through the intercession of the Holy Mother of God, John the Baptist, and Saint Stephen the Proto-Martyr, and Saint Gregory our Illuminator, and the Holy Apostles, the Prophets, the Teachers, the Martyrs, the Patriarchs, the Hermits, the Virgins, the Monks, and of all your saints in heaven and on earth. And glory and worship be to you, O indiv indivisible Holy Trinity, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
garden and hope of all the faithful Christ our God. We commit ourselves unto your care. Keep unshaken the Holy Apostolic Church of the Armenians and ignite in the hearts of the faithful the light and love of your divine knowledge. Regale the rulers of this world with your wisdom that they lead the world in peace. Strengthen the republics of the United States, Armenia and Artsakh and their armed forces and keep firm the united will of the Armenian people. Bless all your faithful people with the almighty power of your holy cross. Save and free them from all types of visible and invisible enemies and calamities, and especially from the threat of the coronavirus and its variants. Make the souls of our martyrs worthy of your heavenly kingdom and console their families with your Holy Spirit. Liberate prisoners from their bonds and safely return refugees to their homes. Grant physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual healing to the injured and traumatized and make us worthy to glorify with the thanksgiving the all holy trinity now and always and forever and ever amen blessed be our lord jesus christ amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Be blessed by the grace of the Holy Spirit. Depart in peace. And may the Lord be with you all. Amen.